Hey guys, Steve Welch here, Beeman Toyota in Nashville. Um, wanted to show you the new 12.3 inch screen on the Toyota Highlander. So this is in an XLE, so um, wanted to show you what we're looking at here with the new 12.3 screen. So there are some changes that are different. Obviously that you can get the same uh, uh, screen in the Limited, the Platinum, and now the XLE. So I'm gonna show you a couple of things that you can do with it. So um, now first off, you'd have to hit your getting started, right? So you're gonna have to hook up your phone and you'll get a text in that. And you gotta uh, do the service activation in order to get everything enabled, all right? So I'm not gonna do this. I'm gonna let the customer do that, but that is something that you need to do. So what I'm gonna go through is I'm gonna show you some of the, the looks here with the radio very easy you can tune the radio if you want to tune the radio fm radio you can look for different stations you can do all of that of course if you want to i'm gonna turn that down because it's on static right now um it's just a beautiful sound um but you can do all that stuff you can pop into your sirius if you want to pop into your sirius and see all of that of course sirius subscription is free for three months um you can go over into your phone uh, obviously that you'd have to connect your phone in order to do that so this right here is really, really sweet. So this is a new thing that they're doing in this system. So you pop into your climate, right? So when you pop into your climate, you can actually change what's going. So you can change this to turn on the S-Flow, which the S-Flow will actually stop the um, air from going into the back. But you see that's down here too. So you can turn that back off right there. If you want to turn on the AC, you can turn on the AC, the, the sink. So here, let me turn this on right here. So I've got this on the high, you can see I can change this down here. You know, you've got different things that you can do. So now I'm on auto, right? So if I wanna sync, if I wanna turn the AC on, if I wanna turn all that on, I can, I can do all of that very, very easily. Um, if you wanna pop over to the rear, you can pop over to the rear, the rear is off. You know, if you wanna turn it on auto, whatever. Um, if you wanna change the fan speed, you can change the fan speed. Very, very sweet stuff that you can do um, with this particular, you know, system. Obviously you can change all kinds of stuff, right? Go into your option, you can go into eco, heat and cool, or you can even turn on your de-icer, which will turn on your windshield de-icer, which is right there. Um, just a lot of stuff you can do with just the, the climate there. Come into your trip information. It will show how you're driving, what you're doing with the vehicle, um, even shows your average miles per hour, um, shows all kinds of stuff right here. Um, all wheel drive, if you have all wheel drive, then it would actually show you how your all wheel drive was functioning. Vehicle alert, which is exactly what you think it would be, right? Um, just a lot of stuff that you can do here. If you come into your settings mode, now this is how you'll get started, right? So if you wanna get started, you can boom, you go in there and get all of that started. I'm gonna cancel that, um, but you can go into personal info, Bluetooth devices, so you can manage your devices depending on how many people that are uh, part of the vehicle. General, very easy stuff. So if you wanna change to where the screen beep doesn't happen anymore, then you can do that, right? Screen sensitivity. So how sensitive is the screen to touch? So you're changing that. Date and time. Well, do you want it here? Now this says time zone Hawaii. Why? Because we were messing with something apparently. Um, so we'll <laughs> switch this over and we'll go into our central time, which is right here. So boom, there's central time, but you can see it's on 24 hour. We'll switch it over off of 24 hour and then daylight savings. Well, we'll turn that on and that makes it what time it is right now here. Set time automatically and you can even change the date. So somebody that's military, something like that, you can change how those dates look and, you know, to wherever you're happy, right? So keyboard, if there's anything on your search history, you can see that. Language, you can set your language. You can also change it from, you know, miles per gallon or stuff like that. Set to automatic, you can, you know, kind of look where you're at so it's going to say um it's going to do different things based off of your location right so all of that's very very cool very easy stuff that you can set um when you're coming into uh the settings right that's in general notifications if there's any notifications so software updates vehicle suggestions all that's on wi-fi you can turn on your wi-fi hotspot right um all of them have that you've got that uh, with a, a free um trial period as well display so if you want to change how the display looks you know cameras if you want to change any of that you can change all of that right very easy to change all of that kind of stuff 
Um, so if you come into sound and media, this is gonna, so, so sound levelizer, that's if you're driving down the road, have a little more road noise, you can change it to where it will adjust the sound based off of where you're at, right? Once you have your phone in here, you can adjust phones and stuff. You can also adjust your system's voice and your driving assist. So when it's telling you something, you can adjust all of that through here. So if, you know, Apple CarPlay is talking to you, stuff like that, you can adjust all of that. I'm sure that's part of that too. Sound tuning, well, that's just what you think. That's that's for all of your um, music and, and everything else there. You can adjust where the, the sound is going, one side, left side, whatever you want to do, adjust it to wherever you want it to be. Media, so default source is Apple Music. You can change all of this stuff. So Amazon Music, Apple Music, whatever you want. Display cover art, if you want to display the cover art, very, very easy. Here's your radio and your XM, right? So now we're gonna come down to one that's really fun. So this is the um, uh, lights. You can change how when your lights turn on, when they turn off, very easy right here. You can also change when your doors lock. So to press unlock, lock when doors uh, open. So that was used to be called something else, but now it's because you know, it would say um, allow lock with, um, I did a video on it, but I'll, I forgot which one, what it used to be called. But um, So you can lock the door when it's open and it'll wait until the door is closed and then it'll lock the last door, your relock timer for, you know, if you need to relock it. Um, this is your auto AC mode. It uh, makes that enabled. So um, you can do voice and search. So wake word. So you can do your wake word right there. If you say that, then it's going to start to try to help you voice prompt so it's going to you know do a voice prompt you can go over your dealer info so you can do a security here dealer info so you can add the dealer info if you want to do a software update you can do that um, any apps you can look at the apps remote connect like i said they all have remote connect so it would wait until it was uh attached with that customer's profile so really really cool stuff that you can do that is your 12.3 inch screen i tried to go through it a little bit quicker i'll do a little bit more in depth as we go but uh hopefully that gave you an introduction to the 12.3 inch screen steve welsh beam toyota downtown nashville you guys have a great day and we will talk to you soon um definitely thank you guys bye